The incredible journey, unveiling your circulatory system. Welcome, intrepid explorers, to the most incredible journey happening right inside you. We're talking about a superhighway, a delivery service, and a waste disposal unit all rolled into one. I'm talking about your astonishing circulatory system. Think of it like the ultimate transportation network. It's constantly moving essential supplies to every single cell in your body, and then efficiently clearing away anything that's no longer needed. Without it, well, let's just say we wouldn't be around for long. Heart is the hardest working muscle in your entire body. It beats on average 100,000 times a day, pumping around 2,000 gallons of blood. That is 7,200 liters per day. It beats around 70 to minutes per day. The heart is actually for separate pumps working in perfect synchrony. The upper chambers are the atria, and the lower, more muscular chambers are the ventricles. There are four valves in the heart. Bicuspid valve, tricuspid, aortic and pulmonary valve. Tricuspid valve has three leaflets. They allow blood to flow from the right atrium to the right ventricle. They also prevent blood from flowing backward. Aortic valve has three leaflets. They open to let blood flow from your heart's left ventricle to the aorta. Bicuspid valve, also called as mitral valve, has two leaflets. They allow blood to flow from your left atrium to your left ventricle. Pulmonary valve also has three leaflets. They allow blood to pump from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. This artery leads to the lungs, where blood picks up oxygen. Heart right side pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs to pick up fresh oxygen, and its left side pumps that oxygen unrich blood out to the rest of the body. There are arteries, veins and capillaries which play a role in circulation. Arteries are strong, elastic tubes that carry oxygen unrich blood away from the heart to every part of your body. They're built to withstand the high pressure of each heartbeat. Then, returning the blood back to the heart are the veins. This blood is usually oxygen poor and carrying waste products. Veins have special valves inside them to prevent blood from flowing backward. And finally, the true workhorses of the system, the tiny, microscopic capillaries. These are so narrow that red blood cells have to squeeze through them in single file. It's here, at the capillary level, where the real exchange happens. Oxygen and nutrients are delivered to the cells, and carbon dioxide and waste products are picked up. First is the pulmonary circulation. This is the short trip from your heart to your lungs and back again. Deoxygenated blood is pumped from the right side of your heart to your lungs, where it drops off carbon dioxide and picks up a fresh supply of oxygen. Then, there's the much larger systemic circulation. This is where the oxygen-rich blood, fresh from the lungs, is pumped from the left side of your heart out to all the other parts of your body that is your brain, your muscles, your organs, delivering oxygen and nutrients, and picking up waste. And then, that deoxygenated blood makes its way back to the heart to start the cycle all over again.